Hey sidekicks, welcome back to a new video. Now, please don't be alarmed at this little man on the screen. He's just a little more animated than usual. <laughs> now, I want to review the whole month of Inktober and how I did and what I have to say about it. Much of it's overly negative, so I should say before we begin that I kind of had a theme when approaching this year's Inktober, and that was to do with um, creating book covers, because I don't normally work a lot with text, and I just thought it would be more fun to make it like, not really the centerpiece, because um, sometimes it's mostly an image you'd see like on a book cover and in my case like comic book covers because that's what I like doing and and the results I found were a bit mixed so without further ado let's get right into it let me just bring up my mobile first and here's my Instagram page I'm just going to explain each one and what my thought process at the time was like when I was making them and I hope we all learned something along the way so the first one was Ring. I thought about kind of making a Tolkien-esque cover of a fantasy book and um, also Green Lantern kind of popped up into my head. But also like you try to draw in these connections and these connecting like words and their synonyms. I know some people often look up the like synonyms of a certain word in order to get a better picture. Um, I ended up making this fist with the ring around it and it kind of looks a bit like he's flipping the bird. But my, um, I think I wanted to make it look like a ring of power, but I guess that could be considered power when you really think about it. The power to offend the masses. Next up is Mindless. I actually took a um, took an influence from the Tales of the Crypt book, specifically like their the um, like ha how they drew drew the title. Um, but the I think the illustration gets a bit heavy in certain places, but I know it reads well to me. <laughs> It's, it's kind of, it's kind of clever, it's a bit shocking, and a bit, like, violent, but I think it works out well. Um, maybe I would like, uh, some areas, and this is where I start to just get nitpicky, but, um, there are areas around the head that aren't quite black enough, and, um, and this is... And I also add a lot of, a lot of shadows. They're kind of conservative in this sense, because, like, they're appropriate, but it kind of gets a little more out of control in the next few. So um, bear with me on this. <laughs> the next one is bait, and I thought the idea here was pretty clever. Um, if you think about bait, fishing, bait, uh, like luring out predators with meat and stuff. Um, or in this case, a living person. Um, and I thought about like, like the legend of the uh, creature Black Lagoon mixed with like Great White, and <laughs> it's got a sinister like feel to it. And I tried to make some uh, like reflections in the bottom of the world, like when you when you put your hand below it, you see like the light rays bouncing off your hand. That sort of thing, and a bit of like, the person just jumps into the water and all the bubbles escaping up. Some cool effects there, and I think the title looks great. Um, it's certainly interesting, especially if it's a story based in horror, or like, suspense. So the next one is Freeze. I, I really like this one, I think it's kind of clever, it's just a snow policeman. Um, his, his arms look like tree trunks now that I see it, um, and I think that that's what lends to it being very intimidating, um, 
but I find it pretty humorous at the same time. Um, I referenced, like, the revolver, I mean, I mean, one should always reference if they don't know what, if they, if they have an idea in their head, they gotta, you know, uh, make sure it looks right, but, um, yeah, the, the title looks okay too, you know, I think the illustration wins it over for me in this one, and this is where my troubles began, at least, um, on a process level, um, for build, it took a while for me to come up with a proper idea. Um, I sort of, and in that, in that sense, it kind of, when you you don't really know what you're gonna do, it kind of you kind of fumble it halfway through. Um, but I think in this, I I thought about maybe these, um, you know, these ancient alien type conspiracies, where they where it's thought that they built the pyramids. So it made this Roswell looking alien into a Sphinx and these two UFOs are trying to build it at least add on the heavier parts like the nose like to the structure and I think it's kind of funny because like they're just fumbling a little but I liked, I liked it overall um, I, I wish like the lettering was a bit more consistent like in the shading department mostly but I think it, it holds up well I would say now onto husky and what better excuse to draw a dogger hey I would say um, <laughs> it was it was nice to like research the topic um, you know huskies are often the breed people use a sleigh dog so I went with uh, <laughs> I went I went with like a husky being like the passenger of a like a sleigh and <laughs> he's just sitting there like being his happy self and um, yeah I think it's really nice I like that there's a I think the little white outline at the bottom really works well and I'm happy with that also the the te the text is kind of it's it's kind of soft looking you know like it and it's got these wisps which i really like and it's kind of looks the y looks like a tail as well that's kind of nice um yeah i really like this one <laughs> it's like <Lake> queen <laughs> now this is not by far perfect but it is my favorite one out of all like all entries i'm not even joking so the reason is I I think the like the de whole design of like the heading is really cool. Um, if I say lettering and heading, it's all interchangeable, by the way. But I, I like the creative use of jewels and like the whole idea behind like this mirror that's meant to be enchanted, but not in a good way, if you know what I mean. So you end up having this kind of Dorian Gray situation, only, yeah, it's it's quite terrifying, and I love it. <laughs> and I like how I use the black in the background of the mirrored image. I think it works pretty well overall. Very pleased with it, to be honest. And now we move on to Freya, which it just, it's a sign of all things going down downhill from here to be honest because um like you, you learn about how how to best use instagram in its own format and i don't think this works that well granted there is a bit of space and the subject is of like a um a more uh sort of western kind of character he's got his like huge revolver but he's old and frail hence the the title um i used a heavy just brush for that title um i don't think i don't think the uh the figure itself looks um that great it's kind of um a bit busy maybe maybe i would like it if he was just walking like 
if I showed him like being all lanky, maybe it would make him a bit more intimidating if he had a strange kind of gait and I just showed his full figure in view. But alas, you live and learn, don't you? Oh man, this is another example of not understanding how to like use the format of Instagram correctly and the lighting is just way overexposed in this one. I, I did like the whole um, like whole uh, movement of the batting and the hands. I think the hands actually look pretty good in this, but um, the whole movement, it's very much like like in manga, there's speed lines, but um, uh, yeah, I think I think how it's um, positioned to, it's kind of a little bit, it's not centered, that's what I'll say, but um, the, the, and I think there needs to be another line for like the eye and swing, but other than that, I can't really say much. And this is where I start to see the look of the stark black really great on me because um well, while i do find the legs look kind of inch like well um defined it gets a lot worse later on i in my opinion so yeah this is an interesting example you'd think i'd go for like a visual a more like visually uh, appealing um image instead of this whole conceptual piece of how uh, DNA is um, passed down to different like uh, descendants in the gene pool. Um, in this case, it was uh, this is a piece on evolution. I <laughs> I show each stage of man evolving from like uh, apes in the trees to hunter gatherers. I think it's a really interesting conceptual piece. Um, there's also like a a large like T-Rex jaw in the top, if you didn't notice. But um, yeah, and I like the le the um, heading too. It's um, nice, um, a bit ruined by the exposure, but otherwise it's fine. Next up is snow. Um, this might take some people a minute to see it, but <laughs> maybe that's the point. But I personally don't think it looks that great um, as a composition. Um, but then the whole the whole con concept behind it is that it's a snow leopard trying to conceal itself, not trying to scare away its prey, which is the the rabbit, the Arctic rabbit, I'd s I suppose. But um, yeah, I think I like I like the sn the snowflake uh, pattern I pulled off here, but um, uh, it's just the snow leopard I'm not really happy with. I'm just a bit nicky picky on that front. Now I think this is a strong one because I'm sort of letting the image, like the text specifically, speak for itself. Um, you can kind of you can kind of like get what it's about from the from a, what's around it or what's what the like form of the text takes but um, I think it's actually pretty successful maybe I would have liked a bit more scales on some of the letters but um, <laughs> it's I think it looks cool nonetheless ash now this one includes some nudity but it's really well like censored by uh, all the black I think um, it's um, it's a bit big actually and one I think when you go bigger you tend to encounter more problems when like inking um, I think I, I tend to swap around like markers with uh, fine liners and then I run into all these um, troubles with just trying to complete the whole thing, as it were, make it a complete work in itself. And um, so, otherwise, I think it it's fairly competent, and I think I think it gets a point across quite nicely. Now, overgrown. Um, I wanted to be 
have another co clever conceptual piece. It's um, uh, I realized like the sketchbook I was using had really bad paper and especially with brush pens it like didn't it just wasn't sitting right but I think the text does stand out in this um, uh, I think it gets a bit complicated with all the leaves in the background I just wanted I wanted to like so I just kept all the text like very white stark white so that I could make it more like complex in the background add more shading if I needed it be but yeah um, interesting conceptual piece is it aesthetically pleasing I'll let you guys decide that but I think it's fine I would honestly do over this um, composition again it tries a bit too much with what it wants to do um, I think if I just took out like the top part and left legend um, it would be better um, I think I do okay with like all, all the space I'm provided and um, I thought it was <laughs> I just like the idea and um, it looks it just looks a bit busy that's all and like if you can see like all the uh, let's say legends if you like if you recognize them all then I think my my piece was successful here now I find this piece really um, underwhelming for the text I think it's a little bit lost in all the detail of this piece of a it's supposed to be like a mammoth fighting a saber tooth and winning by like punching him in the fucking tusks <laughs> excuse me but um uh i think i think it could use a like another thumbnail sketch to figure out the like a more like open kind of composition instead of a uh, kind of filling up the whole like like page it's it's a simple action and it just looks like I'm trying to cram stuff in and um, yeah I came up with this idea at a coffee shop it's and I think it worked out okay maybe the shading is a bit um, inconsistent in parts but um, the like I think the the control in the use of the black is pretty good. Um, maybe maybe the text kind of disappears and behind her head, and so you're led to just like wonder what it says. Um, <laughs> I think it looks beautiful and sexy, but um, <laughs> and that's what I was aiming for. So uh, go me, I guess. I guess I get a gold star for subjectivity. <laughs> now after a few promo posts I did this one called Misfits. Um, I was listening to like the Gary Glitter song Rock and Roll Part 2 and um, <laughs> I, th I think I like how the figures stand out in this um, and how they're like um, like how they look in the foreground and background compared to the background. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, once again, once again, I think it should be a bit more open, but that's just me. Um, there's a nice economy of line, and <laughs> I and I like the whole brush, brush look of like the text. It's pretty nice. Now I didn't want to be too obvious with this one. Um, uh, once I got the basic idea down, I j just build off from that. I ended up making this sort of um, Tarzan-esque like character throwing a boulder at the Cyclops. Um, and <laughs> it's a nice little sound effect um, by the look of it. Um, even though I don't think it should make a sound, it's just like a rock through air, but that's just my opinion but um yeah i think it it has a lot of movement and energy 
I did try to like uh, illustrate all the background to make it um, give it more depth but uh, yeah I think it's all right now on to tread um, this is an idea stolen from Futurama and that's the wear car only like it's a human turning into a wear car I know um, such a plagiarizer so this is a uh, just the text I think is pretty creative and it actually has um, it's got a good height and it feels very um, I would say beastly and enlarged and the fact that there's also these tire treads um, really keeps it focused and the the like the strange like style of the illustration I think works within that context this is kind of the last good one in my opinion uh, the rest sort of go downhill um, this is the most redeeming qualities out of the out of every last one but uh, I wanted to give this pirate a kind of western twist he, he, he uncovers a treasure chest full of gold bullets because he is he is a fast shot I would say and he's got these like boots with the stirrups and yeah I like that I like marry these themes all together quite in a nice cohesive way I think it all comes together pretty well um, and I, I do like the um, the the highlights on the on the le on the text as well um the shadow the shadow placement i think is pretty good not much to complain about here pretty nice now this one's ghost and there had to be a i think there had to be a point where i was just um that i should have stopped i made this um image of like a bird birdie coming back from the dead in ghost form and i think i just overdid the background on this one that's all that really is um i think the cat was, looks pretty good and the bird looks pretty good i just overdid this one honestly and now for ancient i ended up making this a bit too complex for my liking um i think i think it still works but it's just so um like so much like rich black that I'm just a bit um turned off by it like doing like doing something like this again of course I'm gonna I'm gonna make worse stuff like later on but just bear with me um this probably has like the the most interesting brushwork and line quality and um and I think this one is still effective but least offensive out of everything so yeah now i say it's gonna get worse but but this one just had i just had a create like a funny thought about like vr being very like um causing motion sickness and whatnot and this is this is just a book cover of like a full of essays on why it should be just um discontinued entirely <laughs> just shows like a headset in a trash can and um i liked how i kept it really simple for this one i'm really pleased you see people will subjectively like this one i think but um i my issue i think is with how um because that paper i i talked about in the sketchbook was really bad i switched over to a moleskin that was a bit more vertical and that ended up making like my post on Instagram kind of cramped and for this I ended up kind of um, like making trying to tilt my camera a bit and enlarge the certain bits just to make it all fit in and it's not a very clear picture of it but um, once again I can't say I can't say it's that bad um, it's just in my opinion not not the best. I know I'm being too hard on myself, but 
Um, I, I think it's the last two that are really that really annoy me most of all, but I like um, that this is kind of just a vampire, like a take on vampires and how they're so like courteous and <laughs> the like woman is unbeknownst to her, there's her host is like this monstrous being, but yeah. Now this, I wanted to um, give a take on the phenomenon of like dark foods. It's not really a phenomenon, it just, it's like things that exist, like say black charcoal ice cream and that, that those noodles that are like infused with squid ink, which is really strange, but also kind of exotic. Um, I guess those mean the same thing. I don't know. I'm not sure. If you, if you guys think it means the same, just leave a comment below. But uh, I like um, how I did all of the elements in this one. It's a nice, easy... Um, also, the title is pretty um, well-maintained. Um, uh, I gave her a wand. But also, the, the pentagram... It's supposed to be like a pentagram around her neck, but it looks like a Star of David. As, as one friend told me, so uh, yeah, other than that, I think it, it looks alright. Now, I heard about the new Terminator movie, but also, um, this is another idea I had struggle working with, but I ended up putting, like, a bear coat uh, on a Terminator, and it looks a bit like camouflage to me. The hand I had to redo just... Put some white out over that and like redo it to make it more mechanical or actually uh, make it more visible because it was just like a bunch of lines and you couldn't right quite make it out. So clarity is a big issue I have with some of these overall. Now this one features an OC I did back like maybe last year called, um, she's called Four Falcon GF. Um, She's kind of a riff on that meme of like ideal, ideal girlfriend, but it's like of a car and I just made a, a car waifu basically. I'll, sh I'll show it up on the screen for you guys to see, but um, I think it turned out okay. Um, I like giving her a new look and I think the dice on the, on the, uh, on the title is a nice touch. Now for this one, I use my own hand as a model and I thought, you know, it's good to have like a reminder for people doing this challenge that it's okay to take a break if like, or sit a day out even if you are like experiencing pain because if you keep experiencing it, then it's only going to get worse if you keep going. So um, <laughs> saying that I did overdo some of the detail in this, <laughs> in, my, in my own opinion, but um yeah, uh, I think eh, it's a good PSA, what can I say? Um, just thought I'd throw that out there. Now, I was working, like, before I did this, and I was tired, and I couldn't really think of it, so I ended up doing two that day, and, um, I just thought, you know, Joker versus Batman. Joker likes to make, well, you guessed it, jokes and, prob and I guess, puns, too. I guess they include they're included in his like le um <laughs> his repertoire. So I made it so he says bat catch man. <laughs> that made me chuckle personally. I like I like the detail on Batman's fist in this one. I think it works really well. Also, um another gripe I have with this is the composition. Once again, it's um it's a little bit um squeezed, you know. Uh, compressed I would say but yeah other than that I think it's all right and finally the last day is a depiction of my uh, OC Chad Chihuahua he's and he's collecting these things called uh, pine ananas they're um, a fictional fruit that's like a mixture between pineapple and banana and um, he has this ability that he can spin a tire around his torso uh, with the help of his, like, alien <laughs> um, companion. It, it's gonna 
it'll take like a page or two to explain his like powers but it's basically it um yeah and i'm glad that's over to be honest so yeah i thought i'd be overly ranty in this but other than that um i kind of more more or less i want to move on because the biggest bug for me about this was the composition issues uh, I really wish I started each image just from the center and then expand out and I think I would have saved a lot of trouble if I did that and maybe even just focus solely on the text because like it doesn't always have to be like just illustration I think the dragon ex example worked really well on its own and um, yeah it takes that idea and works and it's very effective um but but i really kind of wish i went with a whole like make a 31 page comic like say this guy i know called dave hingley he did this one on his instagram you can go check it out um he did a whole a whole page comic and i can't wait to see what it looks like <laughs> You serve as a reminder to me, Dave, of what could have been. <sighs> but seriously, good job on that. Go check him out if you want. So that's my whole review of Inktober slash rant, if you can call it that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. What would you guys like to cover me to cover in the future? I'm always, uh, I'm going to focus more on my comics now, especially now that um, I've got them all delivered. But I'm also brainstorming more projects to work on in the meantime. To all the artists who participated in this challenge, I hope you enjoyed like doing it as much as I suffered through it sometimes. I hope this wasn't too much of a ramble for you guys. But yeah, thank you for watching. And once again, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers and have a good day.